Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. In this one, we're going to be retouching this image fully with AI. So it's called Mate UXU, and we're going to be fully retouching this image right here with Mate UXU. And trust me, it's going to be really, really quick and it's going to be really, really fast. Because, I mean, if you have to spend all the time you spend in Photoshop retouching, if you spend all that same time in your AI retouching software there, there is no need moving to AI, but this one we're going to be trying to be as fast as possible, right? Okay, without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. When you look at my image, the first thing you are going to notice that the focus on her face shifted a little. It's not very, very detailed. So what I'm going to do is I'm first of all, try, we'll try to restore details back on her face by going into my face, this focus repair, turn it all the way to the top. And once it's done, yeah, before we continue, just know that before you can use this software, you must be connected to the web, to internet, through your Wi-Fi or whatever. Okay, so look at the before, look at the after. We've been able to bring back few details back into our face. Another thing we can do to even increase the level of detail is to go into our tone slider and go all the way down to details right here. The right here will go to portrait sharpening just push it up a little if you also want to restore details to your background you might want to turn up your background sharpening and once that is done we'll go into retouching proper so the next thing we'll do is to fix the blemishes on her face so i'm going to increase the acne on the face increase the acne on the body you know increase the body blemishes all these sliders are just targeted to cleaning up your skin, to remove these blemishes from your image. Then I'll remove the forehead wrinkle, but I'm going to leave the smile lines at cheek line. A uh, dark circle, wrinkles around eye, like this. Good. So I'm going to leave the cheek line and the smile line. I'm also going to leave my lip line. The next thing I want to do is my double chin. In case my model has a double chin, it's going to help, you know, suck it inside. Then reduce the neck wrinkle and that will be basically it for blemish removal. Look at what we've done the before, the after. You may not see that, but it's very, very massive. Now, the next thing to move into is the skin retouching proper, which is our frequency separation. So I'll increase my frequency separation, increase my high a little. Keep it somewhere around 90. And this is the result that we got the before the after right the before the after so once that is done i will move straight to my neutral gray leveling which gives me the same effect of a micro dot and bone just helps me restore you know even out even the skin textures a little bit more then of course increase my neutral contour so that it brings back every other area that we might have lost using other sliders Increase your skin refinement a little bit. Then come down to the to the body frequency separation and increase it. So for now, it doesn't have the flexibility of setting the high, high pass and the low pass of the body, right? It just smoothens it out. We are going to stick with that. So with our image cleaned, I'm going to come all the way down to my skin tone balance, increase the body balance increase the multiple and increase the face so that all the part of her skin or her body will have a uniform hue probably a little gap in saturation and luminosity but it should all be in the same hue after that i'll go down to my makeup enhance my eyebrow enhance my eye makeup add some shadows and some highlights so that we bring back that dodge and burn effect every image is supposed to have and we are practically done the before the after the before the after so after that is done the next thing we are going to do is to clean up the background and her dress so first of all i'm going to go to the background i will increase clean background and turn on my in removing perfections So once that is done, you need to come close and look at the job that you have done to know if it's exactly the way you want it. I think it's the way I want it. 
very smooth and clean. The before, the after. The next thing is to clean up the dress. So I'll go to my So I'll go to my dress slider to the remove wrinkles and just increase it all the way to the top. It has a way of detecting where the wrinkles are and seeing knowing the flows of the dress. Look at that. You'll we'll see that difference. And once the drop is done, we are good to go. Except for the last thing I want to do, I want to create a vignette effect for the image so that the attention stays on the lady. So I'm going to draw this towards this side and make sure the midpoint, the midpoint is targeted towards the middle, right? I can reduce the vignetting. And once we go back to our retouching slider, we have a very clean retouch. The before, the after. So I feel the, the vignetting is beginning to cause a distraction. Okay, so this works way better. So this was the image when we got started, the before, and this is the result we have now. If you want to gain access to Matrix, you just go to the description of the video. You will see the link pasted there. Click on it and download your own software now. Register on the register on the site by buying or on the web, on the software itself by buying credits, and you will enjoy every single tool in it to transform your photography journey. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. And if you please subscribe, turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.